Hello there, Aries. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of October 5th through the 11th. On Monday, what we have coming up for you, Aries, is the King of Coins. The King of Coins is coming in a couple of different ways for you, Aries. So for some of you, this just means that you're going to be dealing with someone, for most of you a male, for some of you a female, minority of you. Um, and this is going to be somebody who wants to do something nice for you on Monday. So this may, maybe this person wants to take you out to dinner or um, pay some small bill for you or... Maybe he wants to um, help with, maybe he gives you a new um, decoration for your office, but there's something that um, this person wants to do to help you with that's just a nice thing, something that you'll appreciate. Um, for most of you, it doesn't feel like it's a super huge thing, but very much appreciated. And also, I feel like for some of you, um, when this person does this, they're also going to be talking to you about why they wanted to do this and um, what they say is going to kind of be a surprise to you, a good surprise. Okay, now the other way that this is coming up is that this could be for some of you, you're just interacting with an earth sign on Sunday. So this is somebody who very much enjoys the pleasures of life. Somebody who likes good clothes, who likes good food, who likes the finer things. And I feel like you're going to be having some kind of interaction with them on Monday. It doesn't feel like it's an unpleasant interaction. Um... And in fact, I feel like this person may even be sharing something with you or some experience with you that maybe um, would not be part of your normal everyday life. Okay, so that's Monday, Aries. And then Tuesday, what we have showing up is we have the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, so for some of you... <laughs> I feel like Tuesday is going to be a pretty emotional day for a lot of you Aries people that you're going to just be sort of on a, an emotional roller coaster. You're going to be getting some news that kind of takes you up and takes you down. Um, and it's just going to be one of those crazy days that when you lay in bed at night, you have to kind of sort everything out. What was that that happened to me today? <laughs> kind of put things in piles of these were the good things. These were the things that applied to this, you know. Uh, it just seems like there's a lot going on and there's a lot of emotion tied to what's going on for some of you Aries. Now for others of you, we have a more simple interpretation, which is just basically that you're um, going to be interacting with someone with a King of Swords reverse personality on Tuesday. Now to me, when I see the King of Swords reversed, what that means is you've got someone who normally um, thinks things through and logics things out and does not give a whole lot of attention to their emotions. And on Tuesday, they're feeling very driven by their emotions. And... Um, when a person like this is driven by their emotions, it kind of freaks them out. It makes them even more emotional because they're not used to that. They don't know how to handle it when emotions actually come up. So basically, I feel like on Tuesday, you're going to be talking to somebody who's going to be feeling very emotional. And it's going to be a surprise to you because you're not used to seeing this person um, pay attention to emotions at all. Okay, so we've got a couple different interpretations for both days so far. Now, when two different interpretations come up, usually that means some of you are getting it one way, some of you will manifest in your life the other way. Um, every once in a while, you'll have both interpretations apply to one person. So, um, that can come in different ways. Wednesday, what we have coming up is we have the transition card in reverse, Aries. Now, transition in reverse is just talking about that you have some major changes coming in. And when I say major changes, I'm talking about changes in your own core values. And you recognize these, that these changes are coming in. However, <laughs> however, you're not sure where these changes are going to take you and how those changes are going to impact your life and how you interact with people at work, with your loved ones. And so you're kind of resisting these changes just because you're afraid of the unknown. Um, here's the thing though, if you can take the brakes off of the resistance, in other words, let your foot off the brake, let these changes really come into your life. What happens is it is a rough transitory time. Transitions usually are rough or no, rough, no big deal. 
But once you get through the transitory time, you find that it's much easier for you to find your happiness and for you to be your genuine true self and much easier for you to enjoy life. So these changes are really worth embracing and just um, welcoming into your life because they will improve things for you once they come in. Now, this type of change, you can resist it. You can. But it is going to come in sooner or later. So by resisting it, all you're doing is you're prolonging that transitional period. And the transitional period is the awkward, uncomfortable period. So once again, there's another reason. <laughs> if you start to recognize yourself trying to resist a big change in your own core values, um, try to relax. Try to let it flow through. It's really for your own good. Okay, so moving on to Thursday, Aries. I just totally flipped the card right across the table. Don't know if you guys saw that. We have the five of coins showing up. This is just telling me on Thursday something happens that tightens up your budget. So when I say tightens up your budget, maybe you take on an extra expense that you hadn't had before. Or um, maybe you decide, you know what, I'm sick and tired of working 14,000 jobs. I think I'm going to quit one of these part-time jobs. Um, you know, of course, 14,000, huge exaggeration, but I've known people that work like four part-time jobs and they're always exhausted and stressed out and they're never quite sure exactly where they're supposed to be 20 minutes from now. And my God, wouldn't it be a relief if you could put down just one? <laughs> and that's kind of one of the things that could be happening for you, Aries, is that you're putting down maybe a smaller um, job and realizing that, okay, that's going to tighten up my finances a little bit, but you know, maybe actually having a little bit of downtime to rejuvenate might be worth it. So that's one way that it can manifest. Like I said, you could also be picking up other bills that you hadn't had before. Um, different ways that can come into your life. But basically the bottom line that I'm seeing on Thursday is I'm seeing that budget tighten up a little bit. Now on Friday, Aries, what we have showing up is we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is talking about being in some kind of situation which is not a voluntary situation. So this is a situation that keeps you from doing everything you would normally do during your day. So when I say it's not voluntary, that means it's not like you just called into work and said, oh, I'm taking the day off. This is something that something out of your control has caused you to not be able to do everything you would normally do. Now, what happens when we can't do everything we would normally do? <laughs> Our minds don't stop, even if our bodies aren't completely busy. So our, our minds are still busy. We're still thinking things over. And what happens is we actually have time to think things over that we normally wouldn't um, let into our frame. And so as we're thinking these new things over, our, our perspective is changing. And as our perspective changes, the way we interact with life changes. It's similar to the transition card that we had earlier, except I don't see any resistance going on to this transition. And also, it's a smaller version of it. It's not such a huge change. It's a more subtle change. And um, it will change the way you live your life, but it's going to be something that is more gradual and... Um, more palatable, a little bit less noticeable to the other people around you because it starts out as just a change in your thinking and how you look at things. So I guess if you wanted to say an attitude adjustment, that's what you could call this, an attitude adjustment. An easy attitude adjustment. Now let's see, so Saturday, you Aries have the Page of Swords in Reverse. Page of Swords in Reverse is telling me you guys are digging up information. <laughs> so there's probably been something in your life that you've been like, mm -mm, I'm not getting the full story here and I know it. <laughs> and if this person is not willing to give me the full story, I will find it. <laughs> that's kind of the energy behind this card in Reverse. So that's telling me that you are looking for um, information. So maybe you're doing a little detective work on somebody's cell phone or maybe you're getting a reading to find out what's the real deal with this person or maybe you're going to some place like instant checkmate and getting a criminal background and you know there's a lot of different ways that this can manifest but this really has to do with with intentionally digging up secrets things that have been information that has not come forth to you readily Okay, so Sunday, we have the Hierophant coming along in reverse. 
somebody's trying to give you advice on Sunday and it is blatantly obvious to you that it is terrible advice. <laughs> you don't even know where this is coming from. Like who would think that this would work? That's the type of attitude you have towards this advice that comes in. Um, from some of you, it's, I'm actually hearing that it's going to be from your children trying to give you <laughs> advice. And the thing is that um, the person who does try to give you this advice is really sincere. Um, I don't feel like they really know the full picture. And so to them, it looks like whatever their advice is would work perfectly. And what's wrong with you? How come you haven't done this yet? Don't you see it? <laughs> So, especially for those of you that this is a child, you may want to take some time to sit down and sort of communicate with that little one and let them know, at least on that person's level, that there's more to the picture than what they're seeing, um, or however you want to handle that. But um, this person is is uh, very much confused about the situation and just doesn't understand why the simple solution just isn't taken because to them it looks like a very simple thing. Um, so that may be a good opportunity for some communication between you and that little one if it does happen to be your child trying to give you this advice that's just obviously not going to work. Um, for those of you who have other people that are just, um, as I say in Australia, sticky beaks, just sticking their nose in where it doesn't belong, you don't know them anything. <laughs> Let them think what they want to think. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> and I'm hearing spirits say, and try not to laugh in their face when they give you this advice. So this should be really comical. I would love to hear in the comments, if you guys think about it after this happens, what kind of advice that you got, because I, this is coming through as a clearly quite comical. But anyway, there's your week, Aries. Thank you so much for stopping by, for watching, for sharing, for liking, for subscribing. For those of you who have been buying my daily videos, thank you. Those of you who have had readings from me and or will have readings from me, thank you. I appreciate all of your support at whatever level it comes in. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next time. Peace out.